morning, Q. Good morning, what a beautiful day. How's your new plane going? This is not my new plane. Oh. Mine's hidden down there in the oh. hangar. In the dark, it's in the deep dark. Maybe we'll see it in the sunlight one day. One day. Good on you. After I've sold the Allegro. You're buying my Allegro? You're going three axes um, on my um, Allegro? Um, no, um, no. <laughs> The Allegro is for sale. The Allegro is for sale. We'll t we'll, hey, we'll talk about that sometime, shall we? <laughs> How much do we charge for these? <laughs> Today we are going flying with John in his Ibis. This is an Ibis. These are Ibises. Or I buy. I think it is in plural. I buy. Yeah. Ibis have entered the Australian English lexicon as bin chickens, tip turkeys, sandwich snatchers, and picnic pirates, to name just four of their many nicknames. No, not that type of Ibis. Oh, oh, you mean, oh, you mean this type of Ibis? Of course. Silly. We're going to have to remove the blindfolds, I think, John, before we try and taxi. This is an Ibis. What is it? Do you reckon? It's an, it's an Ibis. John's just preparing the plane. So I'm going flying with John today. Uh, we've just got some time before we have lunch at the Aero Club. And uh, John said he was going flying, so I thought I might join him. And he's just doing the final preparations so that we can do just that. So I hope you enjoy this flight. Let's go and experience this Ibis. Now I don't know too much about it. I do know that it's got a Rotax 100 in it, a 912 ULS. And we'll get a word from John shortly. John actually has just become our new president. We've just had the AGM. So congratulations are in order. And we see great things happening for the club this year, uh, fresh blood and everything like that with the new committee. So um, let's see where this all goes. How are we going, John? Right, yeah. I'll be filming our experience this morning. <laughs> oh, one more thing to do: put on the magic flying shoes. Oh, the racing shoes. No, the magic flying shoes. So while you're doing that, can you tell us about the aircraft a little bit? Fine. By Ibis Magic GS700, you mean? Yes, that oh. one. That very one. How long have you owned it? It's uh, three and a half years, and they were built in Colombia and uh, built in, uh, brought to Australia in, uh, in a kit and in, assembled here, right here in Maryborough, Queensland. Um, it's a high wing aircraft, a light sport with a maximum takeoff weight of 600 kilos and powered by a 100 horsepower Rotex engine and um, and I love it <laughs> I love my aeroplane excellent let's go right. we're ready to go drag her out close the doors get in get in shut up belt up and hang on Don't hit me in the head with the wing. You don't pop the gun. Where did they go? <laughs> <laughs> you, if you have any ideas in here. It's off. It's off. Circuit breakers are all set. Fuel selector valve. Well, I'll put that on. I'll put that on. Oh, not that one. I'll put that on there. That was that, that one. That's good. Uh, part brake is set. Master is on. Beacon is on. CDIs of both. Fuel pump. Nobody behind us. Clear prop! Mary, Mary, we're having a 
Five is taking one four. It's dashing runway one seven four. A local flight to the south. Maryborough. Right, so John and I are heading off to Kaluta Cove. Maribor traffic, Piper Archer, Bravo Hotel Kilo is six nautical miles to the south of the aerodrome tracking to Gimby at 5,500. Maribor traffic. Five, Five minutes. minutes. Yeah. Maribor traffic, Piper 8194 is entering and backpacking runway 17 and will be exiting the runway and to stand in the holding to your runner. Maryborough. Some good weather over there. Very Beautiful. unstable, isn't it? A lot of instability in the air still. Yeah. So we're going down to, we're here at the moment in Maryborough, not shaking, and we'll be flying down to Kalula Cove, which is in here. Apparently one of John's favourite places to fly is just south of Tincan Bay. You might have heard about the uh, Feed the Dolphins, that's Tincan Bay. And that's just to the south of Rainbow Beach, which is just to the south of Fraser Island, the southern tip, which is Hook Point. And that's where the, um, what do they call them? The uh, sinkholes occur. And then you've got Fraser Island. Inskip Point, where the sinkholes are. There's my Orchid Beach, my favorite place. And Sandy Cape at the top of Fraser. So our flight today will take us from here to here. I we'll just add the waypoint and go direct to. I like to do this one. I'll bring that up. So now what I've got, this is our GPS. And what this will now do is tell me how far away I am and such. Here we come. So here comes off like a baron, I think. Yeah, Here twin. Yeah, the twin. Doing his overshoot. Ibis 8194 and Maribor traffic. X-ray Hotel Tango is in the Mr. Approach, runway 17. Uh, we'll be tracking initially to the south and repositioning to the north for further air work, Maribor. Uh, Maribor traffic, Ibis 8194 is now entering and lining up runway 17. We'll be departing uh, to the south for a local flight, Maribor. I think we're safe to go. There for traffic, I was eight, I was eight one nine four now rolling a runway one seven. There mm. Coming up today, helicopter now to Kilo one point four one zero to the northeast. Uh hundred and there. Oh sorry, one two. Yeah. The dumbbells are still down there. Oh okay. Temperature pressures are good. Hatches and harnesses are, of course, secured. Passengers are happy. I haven't seen anything. <laughs> How would you know? <laughs> so we can get up now and walk around the cabin? Yes. Yeah. When's the waitress coming out? The uh, waitress, the hostess, the flight attendant. And now four is departing the circuit, one seven crosswind. 900 on climb to 2,000 feet. Tracking east, then tracking south. Terra. This wonderful thing called Oz Runways, and as we can look over, we can see that there's, a, there's an aircraft. Is that yeah. us? <laughs> there's an aircraft in front oh, of yeah. us, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and to the north. And I don't think we'll be on any direct course with that aircraft, but we must look out for it when we get near. He's 1,200 feet below us. Or is he? Yeah, that'd be I've right. Never, I've never... Yeah, 1,200 feet below us. Is that what that means? Yeah, that means below. Oh, fuck me. I never knew that. Unless he's 1,200 feet below ground. So, we're winding up. So he's low then, because we're at 2,200. He's at 1,000 then. That makes sense. 
So he's 10 miles ahead of us at the moment, in front of us actually. So that's uh, probably out in the middle of the straits. Oh, I love flying down the Sandy Strait. Oh, and you can see where he is. He's right at the point. He's just outside Riverhead. Riverhead. Over there. Yeah. We can't see him, of course, at 10 miles. He might be a helicopter. Yeah, did you, did you hear his call sign? No. What does it say on here? Uh, Upper hey. Yankee Delta. Yeah. Hopefully he's using the right iPad. <laughs> he did say river hits. We're still going south. He's yeah. going to Rainbow Beach, hey. He probably the helicopter and he'd be, low, he'd be down low. Oh, Rainbow Beach helicopters. Yeah. And they're very hard to see, I find. Oh, me too. I find the same thing. We're doing 95 knots. It's pretty good. Airspeed. Ground speed is 88. Yeah, so we've got seven night head one day. Which equates to the southeasterly. Pretty well trimmed. He flies better with a bit of weight in it, I've got to say, Stuart. Oh, no, no problem. Anytime. <laughs> so he's five miles ahead of us now, almost a straight in front of us. Should be in that little island. Yeah, just, just crossing that channel. Gate channel there? Yeah. Keep on turn. 60 second 360, is it? What's a rate one? The rate one is 1 minute uh, 180. 180, okay. 2 minute 360. Yeah. I knew it was one of those. It's a shame it doesn't say the speed on. Oh, it does. 88 knots. So he's going about the same speed. Yeah. So we'll never catch him. No, that's all right, mate. You lost, John. <laughs> now I'm still trying to see if I can see without bloody it. Oh, it's way ahead, isn't it? It's over, it's over on it's the... It's three uh, miles. Yeah. yeah. Yankee Delta, Ibis 8194 is now zero seven miles to the north. Tracking south to the inlet uh, at 2000. Tracking to Sinkham Bay. I'll just copy that. Uh, Upper Yankee Delta is currently one or two miles to the north of Rainbow Beach, maintaining 1,500. Uh, from Rainbow Beach, we'll be tracking towards Kuroi. Upper Yankee Delta. He's four miles ahead, you'll never see him. Well, he should be near the... Uh, overhead. Yeah, the airfield. He's overhead the airfield now, yeah. <laughs> You've got no chance, eh? Nice. You got any local knowledge on Inscap Point, John? No. no. <laughs> Over here on the right, we've got Tinkham Bay. As I was explaining earlier. So we'll do a lap of that, and then we'll be heading back to Maryborough. To the right of us right now is somewhere we don't often fly because it's a military training area and it's a restricted zone so we have to check our NOTAMs to make sure that it's open, um, not open, we should say that active or deactive and uh, it's never good to assume that it's deactive. It's not active today. It typically is not active on a weekend. In other words, it's deactivated on a weekend, but you can never be 100% certain of that. Actually, in the distance, you can see the runway they use for the drones, the military drone aircraft. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. And the, it's the clearing in the middle of the trees in the bush. And there's Tank Pan Bay. Might get a bit of view here. Nice little area. John, you like flying down here, don't you? I certainly do. And uh, just to the south of Tinkham Bay is, there's Tinkham Bay, is Kalula Cove. John likes going in here, there's a private airfield here, and uh, airstrip, and John often likes to come and do a touching go here. Um, just a routine thing you do. Uh, but today we'll just do a circle around Tinkham Bay, and then we'll be able to head home. Back to Maryborough. To the left at the moment we have Rainbow Beach. You can see the Carlo 
sand blow, well you can't quite see the sand blow, but you can see the cliffs. They're very popular for um, paraglider and hang glider pilots. Mostly paraglider pilots. Whether you're uh, not motorised or motorised, you can go either way. A lot of good uplift with the right winds on those cliffs. Uh, it's just a, um, a wind surfer's paradise, apparently. Not something I'm into. I can appreciate the sport. Back to St. Bay, how beautiful it's looking today. There's a lot of tannin in the water today, John. It's very dark. Yes. This will be tannins, eh, mostly, yeah, I think. It's called Wallop, Wallop Country. Wallop Country. Uh, it creates, it creates, yeah, tannin, which, with heavy rain, washes into the creeks and rivers and comes into the uh, into the inlet. That looks like a runway over there. Yeah, that's that's why Bay. <coughs> is it actually a thing? Yeah, my traffic in the uh, Timken Bay area, this is A32 Vixen, Papa Yankee Delta. We're currently one nautical mile to the east of Kalula Cove. Tracking to the south uh, for Kuroi, maintaining 1,500. So there's my traffic in the Timken Bay area. Oh, somebody down there then. Yeah. Double on a point. Um, do you want to go around, around here or? Yeah, just do a lap there. Whatever you want to do. Then go back up the street? Yep. Okay. Or whatever you want to do. Alright, well we'll go down. I'll do a circuit over the model flight club. Then we can go back up. Okay. There's Kaluta Cove over there. Kaluta you Kaluta can Kaluta. pick it out with the tree pants. You, so you can see the, uh, the, uh, the runway. He's made it clear, hasn't he? Yeah, they, they, they did a lot of land clearing uh, a couple of months ago. Ah. Uh, tree clearing. Which, uh, yeah, you can really see it now. So, I'll do a rate one turn around Tin Can and then we'll go we'll head back up. Roger uh, that. Yep. Yeah, here we go. Alright, all clear. Yeah, look at those. Look at those creeks all brown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Incredible. There's a lot of water running out, eh? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> so we've got a plane over there. You can see him there. There's one coming up the coast. Yeah, that's the, that's the guy that's going over to Kilcoy. Oh, well, he's, uh, he's at 1,000 feet below us. Okay. Great, so be shoving high bits. 8194 is 04 miles to the south. Tracking north over water up the inlet at 2,000. Rainbow Beach. He might be tracking up. He's coming this way, yeah. Do you know to whom you are referring? Now where's he gone? He's uh, I just had him. Good boy. He's over there. Yeah, yeah, over the front of the top kilo. Over the bush. Uh, five nautical miles to the north. Uh, over the coast. Yeah, work. Not above five thousand feet. Still quite traffic. He's moving pretty well. He's doing another left turn. He's coming out over Hook Point. He's uh, he's heading straight at us. Now he's turning hard right, hard uh, left. So now he's tracking south. You got him? Yeah, I got him. I did. He's got orange wings, eh? Yeah. Did you hear what sort of aircraft it was? No. Looks pretty quick. Absolutely. Tells me I'm 21. I'm uh, 21 nautical miles from Maryborough. And it's going to take me. Uh, so does the iPad. 20.9. 20 yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. So we got uh, we got redundant systems. Aren't you good? 
Redundant systems. We can't it? get lost in. <laughs> Puna, Chuan's up here, Bernaroo's there, and Maroon's up here. Oh, we won't see those because we're going back to the, let's go back to the other one. That's Puna there. This is Puna, that's it. This is Puna. Come on, you've only got three minutes, we've got to be back. <laughs> well, we're going to be late. Well, it's going to, it's going to take us nearly 10 minutes to get back there. Yeah. The sausages will just be ready to be eaten. That's right. See? John, I still reckon I like flying the trike. Really? I think the open cockpit, the wind in my hair, what's left, uh, the freedom. Yes. I don't have the speed you've got. You're doing 90 knots, 92. But um, 80 is good enough, 70 is good enough. We've got this tailwind at the moment. Well, our ground speed is, is faster than our airspeed. Yeah, 5 knots. That's not very good though, is it? I would have thought it would have been more than that. Yeah, yeah boat, look down there, is the boat sunk? Have a quick peeky of that. Oh yeah. yeah. A restoration project for you, John? <laughs> Double island point traffic. Pioneer 4703 is 1,000 feet. That's Double Island Point to track southbound down the beach. Double Island Point traffic. Who keeps playing with your iPad, John? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know you can't see Mary Borough, can you? You're going to get lost. That's right. And you better not run into cloud. I mean, really? So that would be Maroon, just up here. Uh-huh. Mary Borough, AWS Aerodrome weather. Wind variable between 270 and 050 degrees magnetic. Two knots, QNH, one zero zero nine. Hit the pascals. Temperature, three zero. Cloud clear below one two thousand feet. Visibility, ten kilometers. Viewpoint, one two. Humidity, three two. I'll let you do your job now. You're going to get busy, aren't you? Oh, no. Well, I'm going to fly over the uh, 2000. I'll, I'll, oh, yeah. I'll descend on the inactive side. I'll do a proper... A proper uh, joining procedure. Don't see any aircraft in the area. Oh. Haven't heard any radio calls. Did that run right on screen, eh? In the grass. Yeah. It's been so wet for a while. Yeah, so we've got the dump the dumbbells are on. Green this side and not the other side. <laughs> you know which side's the wet side, don't you? There we go, we got Ivor Deep 104, he's over from here now, descending on the inactive tide 17. Could you the circuit, Cockley? There we go. Of course, all aeroplanes are horses for courses. Um, Touring-wise, this suits me down to the ground. Absolutely. So it's got a big boot in the back there. Yeah. Big luggage compartment. Um, it's relatively comfortable now. Now that I've got the new seats installed. Uh huh. You didn't like the old ones, did you? Oh, shocking things. <laughs> Do a bit of a side slip. Get the air, get the uh, Lose some height. Yeah. Yeah, the traffic, I've been one nine four is now joining the circuit one seven at midfield crossway. Very bright. Now we checks. Brakes off, fuel is on. Undercarriage down, mixture is rich. Switches are on, brakes are set, tempers and pressures are all good. Hatches and harnesses are secure. There we go. There we go. I was hit by 9-4 turning base runway 1. There we go. Trim out, bitch. 
Merriba traffic, I'm Miss 8594, now turning final to runway 174 stop at Merriba. Crosswind. Yeah, you can feel it there. Nothing that we can't handle. You can see it there, right? Crossy, crossy. Up. <laughs> Loaded up, eh? There we go. Got the wind. The wind was just turning slightly more down the runway then. Too. That's all right. Good. That was good though. I mean, it was. Um, yeah. Would have been good on one, two, three, zero. Oh, I love landing on the grass. Yeah. Pulls you up. You know, the grass pulls you up. Go. Flaps up. It's too nice a day for flying DMP. <laughs> well, thanks, John, for the flight this today. My pleasure. It was a we'll have some lunch now, hey? My word. Flying is a very hungry business. It's a, it works up an appetite. So I hope you've enjoyed the IBIS today. GS700, you said? A, a, a GS700 IBIS Magic. And there's not many of these around in Australia, that's for sure. Alrighty. Let's get to the club. Maribor traffic, IBIS 8194 is clear. All active runways at Maribor. I'm a very professional uh, British Airways pilot, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work. I don't think you pulled it off. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Speedbird 274. <laughs> <laughs> when you come in, should have gone around. Contact me, Chuck. Uh, contact me. It's ready to be picked up. And they said, oh, it's on the inbox. You don't. I believe it's made over. Made out. The steel comes from overseas. Oh, yeah. oh it's over two months. I've got to open up for it. But, um, yeah. Run out of the Anyway. I thought that was amazing. <laughs> the prices go up next year. Of steel. Oh, <coughs> and that's a wrap. Lovely, done. Sorted. A bit of fluff came out of my ear. <laughs>